hello guys and I'm just I just want to say sorry uh, because I haven't made videos in a very long time but uh, this is going to change change now uh, because I have a bit more time than I had because uh, I'm creating uh, a game currently so I just wanted to break this inconsistency with another tutorial and I decided to make a tutorial on uh, how to make this nice uh, glow effect or glow bloom effect in Unity using a cu custom shader and uh, some image effects. Uh, just want you to let you know but, uh, to, that uh, the shader is not mine. I found it uh, while uh, searching for uh, any help on how to create uh, your own custom shaders and I found this one on uh, on a wiki page I think basically I don't understand much in it I just know that uh, these first lines are uh, meant for uh, how the texture will uh, look like and that you can put your own texture in and the intensity and I know that the range from 0 to 3 means that how much you will able to how smooth your like this scroller will be I don't know I don't know much so I'm here to learn and uh, I just wanted to wanted you to show you how to create a nice glowing effect so uh, the shader I'll be including in my past bin account so you just copy that and we'll create a shader right now uh, so open up your unity project or uh, scene whatever I mean project and scene and then uh, create a main camera and we don't need a direction light it will create that for you so you don't need to do that but we'll go in our asset folder and we'll uh, right click it and create a shader and we'll name this one glow so I'll open up the shader and basically this is how it looks like inside uh, it won't change it won't honestly won't change much uh, when I'll pass uh, the custom shader in because it's uh, only a few things I noticed uh, changed in and uh, yeah so go to my past bin account I'll be putting the link in the description and copy the entire shader and then just pass it inside so that's it I won't try to explain it because I probably get everything wrong and I don't want you to believe what I say uh, if it's not true okay so now uh, save and close it and we're gonna create a camera we actually have a camera right now uh, over here and we're gonna we're gonna create a little cube so just to test the shader on but before that I'm gonna just I'm just gonna put that in solid color so uh, we can see the shader better and I'm gonna do direction light I'm gonna change it to be darker okay so uh, actually I'm gonna go with black almost black uh, and now I'm gonna create a game object 3d object and a cube I'm gonna put this one on my main camera and reset its position so it won't mess around with me uh, and of course I'm gonna put it a bit in front so in game it's actually okay I'm gonna put a bit lower so you can see the edges and a bit closer also. okay like this now uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a new material so create a material we're gonna name this one glow green oh actually and 
I'm gonna change this one to a bit turkeys, something like this, maybe. Okay, this one looks fine. Uh, now, what we wanna do now is we wanna change the shader from standard to glow. You're gonna get that in your window, and I'm gonna change the intensity to a bit higher number. You can also add a texture here, but we're not gonna do that today. And I'm gonna add this material to my cube. And right now, if you look at it, it's nothing special. It's a bit uh, lighter material, but nothing fancy. What we wanna do now is go to main camera, and first you wanna import the assets, assets, import package, and effects. So we get that image effects folder uh, in our project. And you wanna go, to, then you wanna go to main camera, add a component, uh, and go for image effects, bloom and glow, and add bloom effect. So this will basically create a bit, as you can see if you go to game uh, uh, mode, a bit uh, like a, a little halo uh, around our object. And if we increase the intensity, it will glow even more. So this basically, we could do with normal materials, we could do this with normal materials, but we, will, we would have to add a lot more bloom to it, a lot more intensity to get this effect as we get it, uh, as we got uh, uh, with uh, using the glow shader. So this is a great thing uh, to go if you uh, wanna want to increase the intensity uh, of glow of only certain objects. That's why the, the glow effect, the glow shader will will come handy here so yeah and basically that's it if we go and play the scene because we actually don't have anything in it if we maximize it so we can see it better uh, basically uh, the effect is quite nice you know and you can if you uh, if you go to minus then it will uh, anti glow I guess and yeah uh, also you can interact with the material here cube and glow and if we as you can see it will glow more if you increase the intensity and then it will basically go to transparent if you go all down to zero but we don't need that and this is basically it for this tutorial if you have any questions that just comment down below and uh, leave a like uh, uh, I really I'm really glad that you guys uh, some of you guys uh, stick in and are still supportive even though I didn't make any tutorials in the past. But thank you really. So that was it and uh, yeah, bye.